Hello everyone, I am Alex Bavolsic from HowToDoTech.com and this is a tutorial on how to put shortcuts on your desktop in Windows 8. In Windows 7, putting shortcuts on your desktop was as simple as dragging icons from the Start menu to the desktop. Since the Start menu is no longer in Windows, this process is going to be a little bit harder. It's still not something intangible. The first type of icon I'm going to show you is something like this, Programs and Features. Because this is located in the control panel, it's going to be much easier to come up with the shortcut. So first you're going to want to get to your control panel, either by the charms bar or right-clicking in the bottom left of the screen. And then from there, right-click on one of these icons and hit Create Shortcut. Once you create the shortcut, it will automatically be placed on your desktop so there's no other thinking involved. But chances are, the programs you want to put on your desktop are not the control panel, but are programs like, say, Google Chrome. In order to do this, you're going to have to open up your files and go under computer. Find the drive that has Windows installed, it'll have the Windows flag. And the ones here go under program files. Now that we're under program files, these are all the different programs installed on the desktop interface of your computer. You cannot put modern UI app shortcuts on your desktop, but that's kind of pointless to go into the desktop to get back to the modern UI when you could just put them on your start screen. But these are all the different programs you have, and sometimes they might be manufacturing instead of programs, like Google. If I had another Google application instead of just Google Chrome, it would show up under the same folder. So now we go through the hard part. We need to pick a program such as Internet Explorer, and from here we need to figure out which one of these files needs to go on our desktop. First of all, you're going to be looking for an application file. It'll say it right under Type, and then from here you have to be kind of smart and figure out which type and title will be the program you want. For Internet Explorer, it's probably not the install. It would be more like the iExplore, i for Internet, Internet Explorer. And it is an application file. Just to double check, double click on the file, and if it launches the program you're looking for, that's the one. So now that you know this is the file, do not automatically drag it off your screen. If you do this, the program might malfunction because it's missing elements. You have to right click on the program and hit create shortcut. It'll tell you that it cannot create a shortcut in this folder. You don't want it to. You want this on your desktop and it will automatically place this on the desktop after you hit yes. Now you have a shortcut on your desktop, you can rename it whatever you want and you can just double tap this as a quick link in there instead of going into your start screen. We hope this tutorial has helped you and if you have any questions please email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. Also email us to that same address if you have any suggestions for future videos. We are really open-minded in taking these suggestions, so please feel free to send us an email. If you would like something to refer back to, we do have a written version of this tutorial in the description below. And please like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to the channels for more tutorials like this one. I am Alex Bavolsic, and I will see you next time.